In today's activity, we'll be using Tinkercad to design snowflakes. To get started, log into Tinkercad and start a new project. It helps if you plan your snowflakes pattern on paper first. To get started, choose a shape from the basic shapes menu. The shape you choose should be flat on the top and the bottom. I'm going to choose this hexagon. Tinkercad gives all of its measurements in millimeters, so looking at my ruler, I would like the center shape to be about 50 millimeters, or 5 centimeters wide and tall. You can click on the number boxes to add the exact length that you want. Use the buttons for copy and paste in the top left corner menu on Tinkercad, or use your keyboard shortcuts, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, to paste an exact copy of your first shape. Use the menu to change this new shape into a hole and resize it so it's slightly smaller than the first shape. We're going to use the Align tool to help us position the hole exactly in the center of the hexagon. Now use the Group button to merge those two shapes into one. You can always ungroup them later if you need to. 20 millimeters is too thick for my snowflake, so I'm going to resize it so it's only 3 millimeters tall. I'll do this for all the shapes that I make for my snowflake. Now I need to make the first spoke of my snowflake. Bring in a cube and resize it so that it's a long rectangle that's three millimeters thick. I'm using the measurements of five millimeters wide and about 60 millimeters long. Select the two shapes and use the Align tool again to make sure that everything is symmetrical. This is where you really get to get creative. Using shapes and holes, create a pattern along the spoke that you think is interesting or looks great. You can adjust the angle of the shapes by using the curved arrow next to your shape. Don't worry about making a mistake. There's an undo and redo button in the top left corner next to the copy, paste, duplicate, and delete buttons. Here, I'm using the mirror tool to make a copy that's a mirror image of my shape. This will help me keep my snowflakes symmetrical or even on both sides.
You can also hold the shift key and click on multiple objects to select them at the same time to help you align or group the objects. Now that the first spoke is done, I'm going to duplicate it using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl C and Ctrl D. You can also just use the buttons in the top left. Select and group these two spokes, and then duplicate and rotate them so they aren't overlapping. If you push the duplicate button again, Tinkercad will automatically paste the shapes the same distance from the last copy. That's it! What other shapes or designs could you use in your snowflake? Try the scribble tool to add custom shapes or patterns to your snowflake. If you have access to a 3D printer, you can use the export button to download your design file as an STL. Use a program like Cura to prepare the file for printing and save it to an SD card for your printer. Be sure to share your designs with us. We can't wait to see what you create.